welcome to another pixelforlife.com video tutorial. In today's lesson, we're going to learn how to use the timeline in our very first animation in Photoshop 6. So the first thing you're going to do is go ahead and load up the project file, which you'll see in the description below. And you'll notice that we have three layers here, okay? Now these three layers are the only thing we're going to need for this lesson. So if it's not there already, go ahead and go to Window and click on Timeline. And at the bottom of the screen, you should see a button that says Create Video Timeline. Now when you do this, it will go ahead and create a timeline kind of like if, if you were doing video editing. And I'm going to go ahead and drag this up a little bit. And you'll see here that the three layers are displayed. Okay. Now what this allows us to do is go ahead and select the different layer that we want to work on depending on where in our animation we want something to happen. Now right now it's set at five seconds long, which is not too bad. If I hit the play button, you can see here the timeline plays for an entire five seconds, okay? But we don't really need a timeline that long for the effect we're going for. So what we're going to do is we're just going to take these layers and drag them down to around 201, and you'll it'll automatically kind of snap down for you in the timeline there. So don't worry about that. Now, all we're going to be worrying about here is this light shimmer layer. And basically, this light shimmer, we're going to be working on doing our very first opacity, um, which is just a very basic, just to make it appear, basically to make it come on like that, um, but to kind of make it look good while we're doing it. So first thing we're going to do is go to our opacity and click on the icon right there. And you'll see here it key, creates a keyframe for us we want to set that opacity all the way down to zero. Now, right in between the one second mark is where we're going to want to go ahead and click on the opacity time frame again and put it all the way up to 100%. Now, when we've done that, if we go ahead and rewind the timeline, hit play, you can see there the shimmer kind of comes up, okay? But now we want it to kind of dim in and out a little bit every couple of milliseconds as well. So from here, we're going to go ahead and create another keyframe. And this, this one we're going to go ahead and bring down to about 70%. Click off of it. Go ahead and move it a couple frames further. Click on the keyframe again. Going back to about 80 or 90%. Click off of it. Go to our next millisecond thing. Go back to click opacity again. Bringing it down just a little bit. Click off of it. And then we'll go ahead and finish up here with a full... 100% opacity again. Now if we go ahead and rewind our timeline now and hit play, you'll see there this kind of shimmers a little bit, almost as if it was uh, kind of uh, you know shimmering on the actual Chrome text, okay? And we can go ahead and go to any part in this frame, and we can move this shimmer to any part that we want it to appear on. And I'm thinking somewhere in kind of in the middle, kind of like that, will look really cool. You can see that it kind of shimmers on and off like that. And that looks pretty sweet. So with that, the only thing left is to add some audio, which I, ha I have this audio track right here that I downloaded earlier. I'm going to open up the containing folder. Minimize everything except for my desktop. Just drag it on there for right now. And then we'll go ahead and add that audio back right there. And you'll see here Photoshop will try to load the audio for us. Loading, loading, loading. And you can see there it's then dropped onto our timeline. And this clip is a little long, it's like 30 seconds long, so we're just going to go ahead and drag it down to match the rest of our timeline here. And we're going to do the fade out. Uh, about one second fade in will be about like that. We'll take the volume down a little bit. You probably won't be able to hear it, but I'm going to go ahead and make sure it's working anyway. Yeah, that works great. So I hope you guys enjoyed this lesson. The only thing left to do once you've created your project is to go ahead and click on render video. 
and then you guys will be good to go. So I hope you enjoyed this lesson, and we will see, see you soon. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. Thanks, guys.